In a remarkable incident, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's administration has come under fire for censoring a video clip from a joint press conference between Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar and Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong. The editor-in-chief of Australia Today, Jitarth Jai Bharadwaj, has labeled this action as dictatorial, starkly contrasting Trudeau's professed commitment to free speech and openness. On Thursday, Australia Today shared footage detailing discussions surrounding the difficulties faced by Indian diplomats and citizens in Canada. This clip swiftly became a focal point of contention when it was unexpectedly restricted for Canadian viewers. Reports from across various Canadian cities revealed that followers encountered messages indicating that the content was blocked by directives from the Canadian government, shocking both the media outlet and the Indian Ministry of External Affairs. The Indian Foreign Ministry condemned the ban as hypocritical, given Canada's self-portrayal as a bastion of free speech. Paradwaj's expression of disbelief was palpable as he highlighted that the video had been garnering significant interest and engagement from the Indian diaspora in Canada before the abrupt censorship. Furthermore, attempts to seek clarification from the Canadian Ministry of Communication yielded silence, while Maida confirmed governmental intervention as the reason behind the restriction. Bharadwaj's accusations extended to the Trudeau administration's suppression of a free press, arguing that the Indian diaspora is being deprived of critical information crucial for making informed decisions. His critique focused on the government's inconsistent approach to free speech, particularly regarding content critical of its policies. He called out the Canadian authorities for permitting pro khalistani rhetoric to flourish, while swiftly silencing dissenting voices that question its stance. The implications of these actions extend beyond media censorship, they highlight the increasingly fraught relations between India and Canada. Paradwaj stressed how the Trudeau government's leniency towards pro khalistani groups has compounded tensions. The fallout from these incidents affects not only the press but also the Indian community in Canada, which has faced increasing hostility and threats. Warnings loom that as long as Trudeau remains in office with Canadian elections on the horizon, the state of free speech and international relations may only deteriorate.